Alright guys, so what's going on? I'm back with another video and I got my buddy Archon back there today. Let me kind of focus on his face. What's up? So you want to tell the people of YouTube what do you drive? Uh, I drive uh, this wonderful silver 2014 Lancer Revolution JSR and I love it. I love it so far. It's great and it kills my back too. So, <laughs> so this car, the reason why I wanted to shoot it, I mean there's quite a lot of Evo 10s out there in the scene. But I've seen his Evo 10 for, I don't know, probably like a year back, almost a year back and I was like I have to shoot it. Uh, I have to admit, silver is not my favorite choice on the Evo, but spoiler alert, it's white body, and man, I don't know, This it's so beautiful. Let me just show you guys. So of course I got my Lancer, which looks nothing, you know, looks so plain in comparison to uh, his Evo. So yeah, there's the Evo 10. So um, let me do a quick walk around first, and then I'll kind of get out to kind of you know tell us what's been done to the car so yeah, this thing is a beast and of course I have to sh pick somewhere that is uh, out in the woods to shoot the car just cuz you know rally car all-wheel drive <laughs> This car is such a work of art. So yeah. All right, back to the owner. So, how long have you had the car for? I've had the car for almost three years. Three years? Wow. Almost three years. Is it since uh, brand new, or? Yeah, it was. I'm the only owner, and I purchased nice. it in uh, September of 2014. Nice, nice. So uh, let's get to the car. We can tell the people, um, you know, what is what's been done to it. Uh, Maybe we can start with. Uh, Maybe the cosmetics. Yeah, yeah um, as you can see, uh, well, when I, when I started building the car, I couldn't really decide which way I want to go, either, you know, performance first or, you know, looks, and I kind of tried to combine both. So uh, the latest things I did was the Victory Function white body, front fenders, rear over fenders. Um, then I did the hood. It's a G, just a GT concept hood. Fortunately, then uh, I added the uh, ARP, uh, I mean APR uh, front splitter with the canard, the front canards. Yeah, there's a custom made cracks on the front lip, especially. You know. <laughs> All right here. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that was about it. Just you know, just one beautiful you know winking sticker in the mirror and uh, a window oh, visor. Yeah, window visor. Thank you very much. Cause uh, I just added mine, so yeah. I know what they're called. <laughs> yeah, language barrier. Wait, are they the exact same? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually, they are. Like the what What's the name for it? I don't even remember. Uh, I just I like the design. Oh, uh, uh, just it's the the OEMs looks the same one. It, it looks the same way, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I guess those just some. Uh, really? Yeah, replica. Yeah, purchase because OEM through the dealership was way too much money. I thought they look a little different. I don't know. I might be wrong, uh, but. Well, those, those, those are the only ones I was able to find. Okay. I know people do some stuff. You know that you put, you kind of install them like right under the. The door frame, but yeah. I don't know what those called. Those are a little bit different, so uh, yeah. Okay. White body, and then uh, oh yeah, you can't forget these uh, gorgeous wheels, right? So I'm sure everyone knows what these wheels are. If you don't know what these wheels are, um, you're doing something wrong. But for those of you guys who don't know, these are Enki RPF1 wheels. Um, so what are the specs on these wheels? Uh, those are ten and a half by 18 18 by yeah 10 18 by 10 and a half is a square square setup all around yes, all around and uh, i wrapped them in uh 285 35 18 bridgestone potenza pole position it's kind of a hard tire so it, i hope it lasts me for a while yeah is it pretty uh grippy pretty yes good tire? yes it's like in my opinion because i ran a couple of different tires in my opinion it's like right in the middle between uh, uh i guess the sticky tires and non uh, uh non uh racing fit tires if I can say it this yeah. way so those are actually perfect I've had them for about 8,000 miles and okay. it doesn't look like I have any wear on them yeah so and then I see that uh what's that rally armor yeah oh yeah of course rally armor so of course what, what else what do you else? not like the OEM ones or I didn't have them oh really no, okay they didn't come with the car and they they were asking I think uh, 250 dollars if I'm not mistaken oh man yeah and those was like 120 so it's like between you know bad and worse so I figured you know go with bad yeah, and then I think while shooting the car, so 
I'll, what I'll probably do guys is I'll release this video first so you guys have a sneak peek of Artyom's uh, EVO 10 and then I'll release the cinematic but in the cinematic you'll see like the little details in the cars uh, that I shot so as you know you guys can't really see from the quick rock around but the exhaust is like a what exhaust is it? Is it engine? Yes it's a Cadback engine SES with a three and a half inch uh, uh, tips Pretty nice, and I've always liked the uh, I guess the rear diffuser on. Well, this I know this is stock rear, yeah, rear diffuser, stock. but I guess being a Lancer owner, you have no rear diffuser, so I had to get one myself. Um, but yeah, I really like this rear diffuser. So aggressive, um, and of course, I see the famous Voltex generator. Every Evo has to have it, right? Well, of course, <laughs> of course, it's like, it's like a must-have, you know. Yep. Let's see what else on the back. Anything else on the back, pretty much? Uh, nothing, nothing special. I think you already mentioned it. All my cosmetics. I mean, of course, I have a stock Avery body kit on, and um, that's it. Nothing else has been done to the outside of a car, if I can, if I can say this way. Sorry, one more time. What's the name of the body kit for people who it's want to know? It's a Victory Function, and I think they're making for Evo 10, Evo 8, 9, some Porsche and BMW, one of the BMW models, and that's it. Nice. And then I guess you want to show people under the hood what you got. I mean, yeah, if you, yeah. yeah. It's, there's nothing special to show, but I guess here, yeah, guys, I'll pop my hood for you. Just get ready to get your eyes burnt out. <laughs> with the Those hood pins, too. Alright, so uh, I guess when people pop the engine, they always, the famous question people want to ask is how much power is this putting down? Well, uh, this thing, it's on stock turbo and uh, on a pump gas, I put down uh, 350 to the okay. wheels and 340 on torque and I also have an E85 map, but I never ran it, so nice. I have no idea what I, what I would do on it. Like a flex fuel tune? Yeah. Okay. You probably pump maybe 100 more, 75 to 100, uh, yeah, I'm guessing? Yeah, something like that. Well, probably I'll get in, into 400, but I've never ran it, so I don't know what it's going to look like. And uh, Okay. I definitely would love the smell of it. <laughs> that corn. Yeah. And I see that M some some Mishimoto parts. Yeah, I have uh, this uh, recir 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 gosh, recirculated pipe from Mishimoto, and I have uh, radiator hoses from Mishimoto. There's one down there in the in the bottom, and I have a uh, MAP uh, uh, intercooler piping, the mm -hmm. inter upper and the lower. Then I have a uh, Canon Typhoon intake intake. Mm -hmm. And I have um, cob. Uh, electronic boost control solenoid, uh, Mishimoto radiator, Mishimoto fan shrouds, uh, ETS three and a half inch intercooler. Um, that's about it, as far as I can think of on the top of my head. Okay, is it a cop tune that you got it from? Oh no, uh, it's it was a body of mine who tuned it. Okay, yeah. like a street tune. Yeah, of course. Okay, nice. Yeah, another thing I, another thing that I didn't quite realize at first when I was shooting the car until I actually moved to this location was the intercooler, like you say, is ETS. And I saw those little, that word written on there, and I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I see you got those hella super tone horns. Yep. Do they work, or is it just for show? Oh, of course they work. They're loud, man. You, the people actually can't, <laughs> they can't hear you on the road, so. And plus, they look nice, you know. You can call out, these have twin turbos, so. Yep. Twin turbos. Well. Wow. All right, I know you guys, some of you guys are going to call me a ricer, but I have them on mine, and I never hooked it up. <laughs> I just had it for show. I never hooked it up. <laughs> Yeah, you mind sounding the horn? I just want to see how loud. Oh, I know yeah. it's loud, but I don't know how loud it gets. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty loud. Yeah, okay, actually what I'll do... What I'll do is, I'm going to sound my horn first, and I'll get him to sound his horn, and you see the difference. <laughs> so, stock Mitsubishi horn versus aftermarket Hella Supertones. So, uh, let me sound my horn first. Get in my car. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Mine sound like a little squeak. It's still loud, honestly. If you, if you sit from the side, yeah. it's still pretty loud. But yeah, I mean, so... Um, for those of you guys who don't really know, uh, so like I said, I've been trying to shoot his car for a while. 
just you know you said the sh oh the car was in the shop for how long <laughs> uh, seven months seven months yes seven months and i almost blew my brains out because i didn't know when it's going to be done and uh, yeah. i keep having weird dreams about it because i was nervous but then one day i got a call and it was like come pick it up I was like, oh, yeah man. Do you, you would you say because a lot of people say oh man evos always have problems and i don't know what do, what do you think is the evil owner my opinion <laughs> <laughs> those people were in line to be honest it's i guess it's a it's a very fine process of building it you know and avoiding mistakes i have made some of mistakes and but yeah it's definitely a tricky car to build i'd say again yeah. my personal opinion some people say i might be wrong but yeah my opinion do you think it comes when you really push it hard and that that's why you know stuff happen or it's just the way it's evil uh, it's not the way it is i think but i think it's the, if you do some um mods without researching i want to say this uh, way and you know mm. like for example i've never really had any experience on building a car and that's my first build uh, uh build nice. and um thank you and uh i've made some mistakes that i should have you know i could have avoid you know such as yeah. injectors and fuel pumps and again because of lack of experience if you talk to experienced guys yeah of course they'll let you know like how to build it right yeah to avoid you know costly repairs mm -hmm. and, yes but yeah i mean they always say they always say that i guess practice makes perfect trial and error and i felt like that was exactly the same way i was with my civic because i mean you some of you guys og subscribers know i went through so many parts with that thing the good thing is a honda i i didn't that's why i haven't like make big power yet because i'm scared but i went through so many parts like six lips four hoods three front bumper i don't know i just go through parts like it's you know but that's i guess that's how you learn you yeah you, yeah that's right. most definitely how you learn yeah but so what do you have before the evo 10 i'm kind of curious uh before you would <laughs> you're gonna laugh I've heard camry <laughs> you're damn right really I heard, yeah i had the 2013 camry <laughs> and then uh, the first day i brought it back my mom looked at it she, she drove it and she's like that's straight and she oh. had a 2012 honda accord and of course you know four cylinder versus you know six cylinder accord i took accord and you know i let her have it yeah and before that i had the 2004 toyota solera Okay. Yeah, so, V6. Yeah. But it was wonderful two door Camry. But the only thing I didn't like it because it was two door. Uh, was, yeah, but otherwise it was a great car. Okay. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> I never knew he had a Camry before this. That's that's funny. Yeah. But uh, let's see. And then, like you said, uh, the car is for sale. You're actually thinking of selling. Maybe fifty. Uh, yeah, it's still fifty fifty. I'm still kind of you know doubting myself about selling this car or not, but if uh anybody give me a reasonable offer of course i'm going to consider but if not it's gonna, if it's not gonna get sold pff, i'm gonna keep it you know yeah man? i mean it's a nice car for sure we'll see what it's gonna worth you know from 60 years from now if i'll be still alive i feel like yeah with the evos being stopped production and i mean you heard how expensive the final editions oh, go yeah. for so i feel like Crazy. these are just gonna become it's good. I feel like it's gonna go in value. I feel like. Well, yeah, I hope so too. You know, because you can see on the Supras, they go crazy about oh. Supras. I mean, of yeah. course, it's a Supra. But I can't yeah. really compare. But yes, they don't make them anymore. They go crazy with all those uh, old school cars. They'll, mm -hmm. I think they're always gonna be, you know, in uh, value. Yeah. If I can say this way. That's true. So, uh, if you were to keep it, what I guess, what would your plans be for it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> finish. Um, I'll, I'll I'll build my head. Uh -huh. Of course. I also do you know bigger you know turbo and that's it go crazy you know go hit some light poles on the street that's it most definitely must have and then i'll probably um uh, i'll ship my transmission to jacks and mm. get it you know uh, built as well i heard a common problem with the misabishis in general misabishi so me included is the transmission is that true well uh I've, I've heard a lot of different rumors but what i what i've noticed myself it's the third gear grinding on mine, uh, mine's manual, of course, and uh, it grinds in the third gear. And I've, I've heard there's a pin in the rear diff that wears out and uh, gives you a lot of troubles. But I'm not, I haven't experienced it yet. I hope I will never experience it. But if it happens, it just you know get me closer to get it built. So I heard it's 10 grand for this machine. I'm not sure how true that is. Huh. But I, heard I, some... I have two kidneys. So. <laughs> That's a good response. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice, man. So I mean, the sky's getting kind of dark. I really wanted to do some uh, rolling shots and stuff, but like I said, sky's getting dark, uh, and I came out here alone to shoot the car. So, but yeah, 
if you know Archon don't sell the Evo, I'll definitely try to hit him up, try to pull someone else along to shoot some rollers because this car is, I don't know, it's so beautiful. The tire lettering, the, I don't know, the canards, the splitter, the wide body, just everything just looks so aggressive, you know. And oh, one last thing, I want a fun fact about the car. So some of you guys might know I got my Lancer GT for Uber, right? Uber car. He does the same thing. He's actually doing Uber in this Evo 10. This Evo 10 right here. How crazy is that? <laughs> How long have you been doing it for? Uh, I've been doing it for about two years. I uh, wow. started doing it when I was as a, <laughs> just as a side job when I was in the military. Yeah. And I didn't really go out, so I figured you know I'll spend weekends trying to make some ca cash. And uh, then I just started doing it for fun. You you see uh, <laughs> people's faces when you pull up next, and of course nobody's expecting you, you know to pick you up on something like that. So yeah. That's why I had to get a little taxi sign and uh, you know put on the roof and hey, that's funny. here I am. Let's go. That's uh, crazy. Well, I guess I don't know. My girl has been telling me, hey, you should continue doing Uber once in a while, and you know as a second job. But I don't know. I guess I don't have much of an excuse. I always say, oh, I guess I'm lowered now. I'm loud. But hey, I mean, if you're doing it, I guess I don't really have an excuse, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes I feel bad for people who sit in the back seat because, you know, they're like yeah. jumping. And oh, stuff. what coils do you have? Uh, I have uh, a Fortunato 500 series. Good and coils. I have a uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 kg springs. I, I, could, I, could, I couldn't really decide between the 10 and 12 kgs. Uh -huh. And in uh, my opinion, I probably should have went with 12s. I see. Yeah, but it's still good. It's still, it's still good, but I would like to have something a little bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. And then I saw Drew and Slaughtered uh, Rotors yeah, as well. Yeah, those are DBA 4000 uh, XS, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. And the next step, 5000 series is a two piece, but they're too expensive. Well, at mm. least for my part, they're too okay. expensive. My uh, body, um, I, get, I haven't featured his car. Actually, I did feature his older car, uh, Antonio. He had a red S2000 which he sold and he recently got a Evo 10 as well, a white one. It'll be on the channel pretty soon, we can shoot with him. But uh, basically what happened was he bought rotors for his Evo 10 but apparently they don't fit. So they're meant for a Lancer, they're StopTech rotors. I don't know, have you heard anything? Are they good or...? I know, I know a friend of mine who runs StopTech but I don't know what model exactly. Mm. And uh, I was... Oh, Slaughter, he told me. Yeah, but, Slaughter, but, I, but, yeah, I, but um, I know he runs them and he's happy. He's like, he's like, oh my god, he like prays for them. Mm. But I've... Uh, I don't know what pushed me to go with the DBA. I honestly have no yeah. idea, absolutely no clue. But I have what I have now and they run fi uh, fine. I've had them for about 15,000 okay. miles. And, wow. uh, and they still work fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm gonna pretty much end whatever talking here. I know you guys want to see more action with the car, see more of the car, and not just us here ranting. But it's getting pretty dark. So what I'll do is I'll just get you get in the car, start the car up, and then maybe do a couple rests. I guess we should be cool. It's pretty quiet here for the most part. Yeah. And then we can just leave. Yeah. Then we can. Just Yeah, maybe when you rev it up, you can rev like um, like a low RPM, mid range, and then like one, sure. you know, pretty high up. Okay, whatever. Ready? Yeah, you can go. Up front, do you think we could hear like the boost? From yeah, you'll, you'll be okay. able to hear it. Oh, what blow of valve? That's an important uh, question it's too. Stock. It's stock uh, bypass valve, but I just crashed it. So okay, all right. Let's yeah, see what we can do. Here's some uh, turbo whoosh whoosh noises. All right. She's a screamer. <laughs> all right. Alright, once again, I guess I'm gonna end the vlogs here. Like I said, it's getting pretty dark, pretty dark but uh, I wanna thank Artyom for bringing out the car. And yeah, I'll hit you up again. Hopefully, you can get some rolling shots in. And appreciate you coming out, man. You're All very right. welcome. Thank you very much. Catch you guys in the next video.